Welcome back to the channel, guys. So this video was supposed to be completed a long, long time ago, but just finding time to uh, finish off now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin here. A little context about this game. This was uh, our fourth matchup in the Nisa tournament this past fall. We ended up losing our first game, winning our next two, and then losing this game 1-0. So we're going from uh, right to left. We're in the black. So let's go ahead and begin here all right so first touch and pass the game you have gordillo trying to hit a half field uh, shot there ambitious i like it but yeah it didn't go according to plan that time and just a little disclaimer guys i'm gonna be pretty self-critical of uh, certain plays um, of myself so hope you guys can help me out and uh give me some of your own advice and tips and tricks and yeah hopefully uh we can make this a uh, little learning experience for both of us but uh, first touch for me a little ball from abraham across the back uh, right foot touch right foot pass i'm trying to work on the weight of my passes um, this year because uh, I noticed in uh, this tournament some balls were just uh, kind of under hit and uh, a little bit misplaced So next play we have uh, just a little bit uh, Mispositioning. I don't like this at all uh, There's no way that this guy should have any chance of getting the ball Just a little turn a little look over my shoulder would solve this very simply But I kind of overcommitted and uh, gave this guy actually a shot of finishing this off and Then next we have just a little uh, little aggressiveness being man on with the Ford. This guy was actually pretty good, to be fair. He was a big body up there and uh, caused some problems for us in the first half. And then the fifth minute, we have this play right here, which uh, contributed to their PK. Um, there's no reason for me not to step a little bit sooner there. I backed off, backed off. Yeah, I eventually blocked it and uh, stopped the shot, but ideally stepping a little bit faster and not uh, allowing him to shoot from you know maybe two yards outside the 18. And then a little bit of a uh, misinterpretation on the bounce and and up missing the ball, misclearing it, and then uh, Jimmy led uh, to the foul and eventual PK. So kind of a show right there. Not a big fan of this play. Now we have DCFC coming down the left side of the field. This guy ends up beating Paulo and then takes a big ball push right there. Ideally, this is where I would just slide tackle if I was in peak condition, but I kind of a, a knee problem the last two games of the tournament. So ideally, this is where I would dive in. And again, that's a really easy challenge to uh, to win. But yeah, I took kind of a half-ass uh, stab at it, and you know, I did the job. But ideally, this is where I'd fully commit to a slide tackle. And again, coming down the left side of the field, I don't like my hips at all with this. My hips aren't open. I'm not looking at number 20. Um, he can easily just kind of come off my back shoulder, make a run behind me. But again, it's just positioning. There's no way this guy should receive, turn, and have a have a potential shot. There's just no way that should happen. Yes, I kind of win it, but again, it's just hips and be more aware of my surroundings. Next, we have a long ball from one of their fullbacks. Ideally, it's not taking an outside right foot touch, but I got to shout the last second to control it. But ideally, it's taking a little bit more of a safer touch and not uh, <laughs> not taking outside right foot control of the pass. It's just a little bit uh, a little bit precarious as a center back. Moving on to the 17th minute here, pretty basic passing on the back. But I think the first thing that goes is when you don't play a match. This is my, again, fourth match in the span of a year is your vision. I don't look up enough during this game, but really the entire term at all. I'm just kind of focusing on the short passes and uh, not screwing up or making a false uh, step. But yeah, the first thing that goes when it comes to not playing in a while is your vision. That's by far the most important thing as a center back is to look up when you first get the ball. Next play we have is a corner kick, and I just want to show this and how pathetic this jump is. I've been really working on just my explosiveness and uh, and heading ability this uh, off season and preseason. It's just a really pathetic effort to try to hit this ball. I know I can get at least a, a touch on this, but look at this jump. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely pathetic. Just, uh, I beat my man, but my, my jumping ability in this tournament was just absolutely awful. Fast forward to the 27th minute here. Ball out wide, beats uh, Espenia, and then kind of a lucky header, to be honest. It looks really good, but this is just kind of luck and maybe a little skill as well. But to head the ball and flick it on and not... Uh, not hitting your own goal is uh, is kind of lucky as well. So, yeah, it's uh, really only one option I had, and that's just get a flick on it and kind of push it backward toward uh, toward the far post or just uh, out for a corner kick. But, yeah, really good header, but a little bit of luck involved with that. All right, so here's a play that gave me nightmares after this match concluded. A lot of different possibilities could have happened with this uh, particular play, but ideally, you know, you kind of look at yourself when uh, the match concludes and what you could have done better. But after watching it on uh, tape, a lot of different possibilities could have uh, happened as well and you know, could have resulted in an offsides or maybe a block shot. But ball comes in off corner, um, headed out a little bit, comes to the top of the 18. I step, I step too high, uh, a little bit too fast as well. He's not going to shoot. I should have you know, kind of read that. He's more of a left-footed player. But lunge in, takes one step outward, beats me right away. 
and uh, you know has a shot deflected in and you know that's just you know, how this game goes sometimes is that one dive in one misstep and results in a goal but you know kind of rewind you could say that Jimmy should have stepped maybe a little bit faster that would result in a block shot maybe if Eric stepped a little bit sooner it would have been off sides who knows but I'm gonna take the blame for this one but if you guys have any comments or suggestions or advice about this particular play please let me know fast forward to the 30th minute here ball from Jimmy take a touch for and then play Paulo out wide and again, this is kind of the issue of the entire tournament was just playing neutral balls. No variety, no really risk taking at all for me, which is you know, fine from time to time, but it's just really easy to read. Uh, I was just playing sideways balls and balls in the midfield with uh, really no emphasis on breaking lines, which again is an issue as a center back. Next play is just uh, positioning again. There's no way this number six should be able to receive the ball so easily and lay it off. Like there's no one behind me. I should be on this guy's back and uh, trying to win the ball. It's just being a little bit too safe and Maybe not reading the game the way I should have, but again, just positioning. 33rd minute, layoff to probably the best uh, player on the field that night. And then I track the runner, then get a little bit uh, turned around, and of course, back heel. Lovely. But ideally, if this was a little bit further forward, this guy making the run, I would just just stop. I love doing this where you track a runner and just stop. It makes the forwards feel so stupid. But the back line really needs to be cohesive and uh, on the same page. Nice little bit of skill from the number 20, uh, and then a cheeky little back heel, and I do a pretty good job reading this uh, tackle. But always want to see like a 5 to 10 foot gap between the player and the ball. That's my cue to potentially slide. Always look for a big ball push or just uh, you know a gap between the ball and the opponent. In the last play of the first half, you don't really notice this until you watch it on tape, but again, just the inability to go forward. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Just sideways, sideways, just push the ball forward, Spence. And then I push it forward to Jimmy, two feet. It's just... Small things, but the small things add up to potentially something big in the future. Moving on to the second half here, uh, pass back from Willie, then I make a crossbody pass to Abraham. One concept for you guys if you do want to be a coach or scout in the future is you can always tell when someone's a little bit hesitant while making a pass or a touch by their arm positioning. So if you see my arm angle, it's at 90 degrees, and that's just kind of a telltale sign that someone's uncomfortable on the ball. I had kind of a hard time making this pass when I was in high school and college and really still haven't mastered the crossbody pass. Fast forward the 55th minute, we have by far the worst uh, sequence of passes by us in the entire game. So throw in, uh, pass to Abraham, Abraham passes to Willie, Willie passes back to our keeper Brandon, Brandon takes a touch forward, I take a touch forward, I probably should take one more right there going forward, but decide to pass back to Brandon, Brandon takes one touch out, and then uh, this kind of calculates where the opponent's at, and then this right here should be a goal, just uh, miss hit, but yeah, just a horrible sequence of passes right there. But let me know what you guys would have done in my position. Just hit that forward or uh, make the pass back to Brandon. I think it was the right choice, but maybe you guys have a different outlook on this. Next, we have the only long ball, a cross field ball I played this entire game, but it wasn't an optimal pass. Uh, I gave my left back no time to really control this and bring it down. It was a chip pass, not driven. That's the one thing about, again, not playing for so long is that you start kind of second guessing your longer passes in your vision. 65th minute now, ball from Brandon. Um, I take a touch forward. I look up this time a little bit, which is good, but end up playing Jimmy in the midfield, and then Jimmy plays it back to me. I take kind of a missed touch here. Again, arm positioning at 90, and then I play a little chip in Apollo, which ends up working out pretty nicely. As basic as they come right here, 73rd minute, uh, ball from Eric. I take a touch, play Jimmy in the midfield. Uh, pretty straightforward there. And then fast forward like 10 seconds, and this is the only time we were caught flat on the back line the entire game. And we had this uh, pretty under control, but Brandon ended up uh, body slamming this guy. 79th minute now, uh, crossing from the right side, coming in. Eric's just a little out of position, and I have to uh, dive in and kind of intervene. But my knee was pretty much uh, toast at this point. I should have been sub, but yeah, kind of an awkward uh, dive to get the ball out, but you gotta do what you gotta do, even if it uh, <laughs> means looking a little bit stupid on the pitch. We have a cross in the box in the 82nd, and this right here is just uh, pretty much all effort on my part. I was pretty much shot, knee was done, but ended up tracking this guy all the way to the halfway line, and uh, ended up winning a throw-in off this. And uh, just a few quick plays right here to end the game. Uh, not close enough to my man, but uh, thankfully Abraham is there to cut that pass off and alleviate the pressure. And then Frankie gets beat right here. I kind of throw in a two-footed challenge. I was going to slide right there, but use my better judgment and uh, decide to stay on my feet. And then just a basic pass out of the back, uh, touch four, and then outside with the right to play Abraham. 93rd minute, uh, the gap between the midfield and the back line is huge, but uh, do a pretty good job of shielding this guy off and uh, winning a goal kick. And the last play of the game right here is kind of like that 200 IQ play by Frankie de Jong, where I'm just trying to shield the guy 
away from the goal or block the ball, of course, to the running in behind number two. But this guy goes to corner flag and tries to waste time. It's 95th minute, and then I get fouled right here. I get clipped in the ankle, but the ref doesn't see it. But, yeah, that is uh, the end of the game, guys. Hope you like this game analysis. Hope you enjoyed it. A lot more of these uh, come in the future. But any tips or advice you can give me will be much appreciated. But, again, I'll check you guys in the next video. Deuces.